I mean, the, the focus with all of them has been, you know, reaching their full potential, and specifically with those guys. Um, continuing to get them guys uh, high volume reps, opportunities for them to show that they can be those lead guys, which I've seen that last year, you know, and, and carving out roles for them in different ways. We're going to get them the ball, um, you know, between, well, all of them will have those opportunities, but obviously um, Jeremiah and, 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 and JD were the guys coming into the bowl game who took um, a fair amount, of, you know, followed by Jabron, who had, I think Jabron might have 18 plays in that game too. So, just really excited about, you know, those upper three guys, but also just really excited also about the two young guys, the guys with me real good. But you price and love thrown from from last year to, to this point, and obviously you're going to have a much bigger role now with Roger Gunn. Um, well, the good thing about the way that we rotate the guys, everything that we're seeing now, it's not like, wow, I didn't see that before. We play, them, we play all those guys so much, so the, the issues that need to be addressed, we're addressing those right now. Um, and those are few and far in between, you know, or they wouldn't have played last year. But just the growth mentally, the growth knowing that, okay, I'm going to have a, a bigger role in the grand scheme of the opportunity to carry the team, opportunity to highlight not only what they're about, what the room's about, and what the teachings are about, ultimately what the football program's about. So just excited for them guys. Jeremiah has shown, obviously, an explosiveness uh, on the field. Uh, what makes him so dynamic? What's allowed him to – be that type of player? Well, I think just his level of comfortability at this point. You know, he's, he's, he's been here. He knows, you know, although it's a new offense, you know, so he's, he's done a great job of integrating into what the new offense is, um, understanding what his role is. He put on seven, eight pounds worth of muscle. Um, so that's been big for him, too. Now he's not only very fast and explosive. I mean, it's, it's sturdy. It's, it got some girth to it. You know, so just excited about what he'll ultimately bring to the table, which should be pretty dynamic this season. Coach Freeman talked about you uh, taking that um, assistant role under him. Mm -hmm. um, he also mentioned that you have your next job after this may be a head coaching job because you've grown that much and he sees that in you. Mm -hmm. I guess what's your response to that when you hear the head coach speaking that way, a guy that you know for some time now? Yeah, I mean that's that's what my goal was coming here. You know, I mean, there, I mean this chronicle. There's been a lot of opportunities to to leave for what be considered lateral roles or to me a backwards role, even if I'm going to the NFL, because I'm like, I've been in the NFL, I won a Super Bowl there already as a running back coach. So um, being a, having an opportunity to be here in this type of environment with these type of players and coaches, and then obviously with the faith of the head coach to put me into that role, I want to make sure that I exhibit everything that needs to be exhibited in that role to continue to grow the program.